Hey, it's Drew Bennett from BenSpark.com and I have another great toy review for you. This time it is the Arc Reactor Lab. It's part of the Marvel Science line from Uncle Milton. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put together Iron Man's Arc Reactor. Um, so what you do is uh, you can solve it to uh, do different lights and sound combinations, uh, get the most power out of that arc reactor. I mean, I know from the comic books, Iron Man is always trying to get more power out of the arc reactor, and he's always uh, losing power. That's, you know, the MacGuffin uh, a lot of the times uh, in the series. So with this, we get to try to build uh, Iron Man's arc reactor. So check out what we're going to do. Uh, Eva and I are going to build this together and uh, take you along for the ride. Definitely. Done. Okay, great. Now we'll go to the next step. And that next step looks like attach all six reactor joints to the outside of the arc reactor power unit. So these are the reactor joints, these items, and they're going to go right on here, just like that. Okay. All right. Here's the rest of them. You can just snap them on. The line part has to go at the top? Yep. There you go. Line them up. This was actually easy. I bet I could build this whole thing. I bet you could. You just tell me what to do. And you can do it? Yeah. Okay. Do you got it lined up right? Uh-huh. All right. So Eva's attached all arc reactor vents and uh, the joints. And now we have to insert the power chips into, into the slots here. Now, the power chips, depending upon what order we put them in, they'll make different sounds. Uh, and they also show different power levels. Uh, so what we're attempting to do is level this up to the highest power available. But before we do that, we got to put some batteries in it. So our arc reactor lab is ready to start testing. So you can notice these little points here. These are power chips that automatically stay in. Now these points are where you put one of the four power chips in to solve the problem. Uh, so we're trying to solve to make the arc reactor hit highest power. So there's different types of chips. So this one is the primary ignition, ignition chip. Uh, this one is chip number one, number two, and number three. You can tell by the, the lines on there. So those four chips we try to put in. And what we'll do, like scientists do, is we're going to test and try different combinations. So we're going to start and we're going to put in zero, one, two, and three in the different holes here that correspond with where we put our chips so we can figure out which combination is going to make our chipset uh, power up the arc reactor to the highest power. All right, so we got the arc reactor pulled up and, and created, and now we have our four chips and we're gonna try out uh, putting them together and making sounds. Um, this is the power chip tracking grid. This will tell us where we put the different power chips and then uh, for our testing. Uh, so in each scenario basically you put the um, the ignition chip so this this ignition chip here um, that's gonna go in this in this slot every time because you know that it's the only one that will let you make a sound when you push it down. Okay so that's the only one that will do that. Uh, so that means that when you try each time, you have the other three, uh, other three chips to put in, which means you have six possible combinations. Okay, so we tried it methodically. We put um, chip number one. You can see the little one stripe there uh, in this position here, and then we did chip number two here. So we did one, two, three first. You know, we try that first. Okay. And then we have to put the cover back on. 
and then you push it down and you'll notice that that did not achieve full power so you keep changing the three chips chips one through three over and over until you get the correct uh, full power up of the uh, arc reactor and you use a pencil let me see the pencil there sweetie and so you'll use a pencil on this grid and in this case you know chip zero goes here okay so we did one two three that first time and it kinda shorted out and so we'll do that and then we'll go through each one and we'll do in, until we get to full power now the arc reactor itself has a little um, display stand and there are different modes so we have it in lab mode right now so that we can do the experiment but it also has nightlight mode and so nightlight mode when you switch it to that okay you get a fully powered up arc reactor so that's full power and we can use that as a nightlight it'll be on for 15 minutes and then it'll automatically turn off so you can use it as a nightlight uh, in addition to a lab program. Uh, it's pretty fun. It teaches kids about the scientific method, being able to uh, go through and try different things to achieve the result that they want. And it's, I think it's a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, we had, we had a good time playing with this. This is from Uncle Milton and the Marvel Science series that they have. And it is the Build the Arc Reactor, Iron Man's Arc Reactor.